We talked about crypto security, but what keeps the technology secure? What keeps blockchains from being hacked or overtaken? There are certain incentives that are built into the protocol, uh, the blockchain's protocols, that encourage good behavior and discourage bad behavior or malicious action. For example, a great example of an incentive is the block reward. You are incentivizing miners to compete, to contribute to securing the network and creating blocks by saying, hey, if you put forth a valid block, we'll give you a cryptocurrency reward. Uh, an example of a negative incentive or something that can dissuade bad behavior is uh, fees. So if somebody wants to spam the network because of the protocols, the way it's laid out, they're going to have to pay a significant amount in fees, which theoretically should deter them from just spamming transactions. One attack vector is what's known as a 51% attack. So it's actually possible to buy computing power or hashing power uh, in order to gain an advantage in, mi in, the, in the mining race. One method of attack that is used against blockchains is a 51% attack. Now it's possible to buy computing power, also known as hashing power, which increases the chance that you'll be able to find the next block in order to create blocks and mine. Now, if somebody controls a majority of the hashing power, they could theoretically rewrite historic chain data just by changing it and getting the majority to agree with them, or they could push through invalid blocks. It's really important to ensure the diversity of network participants while maintaining incentive alignment. You don't want any collusion. Uh, there's things called mining pools or mining farms, um, which specifically are there to mine. That's their job. They are willing to put up the electricity. They have the hardware. Uh, they just mine and try to collect as much cryptocurrency as possible. Uh, there's been a couple times where these, mining, where these mining farms or mining pools, which are just a bunch of users uh, pooling their mining power together. And there are some instances where uh, one entity's hashing power has reached uh, near 50%. Now, the response to this is very interesting. They didn't want to get to a majority uh, of the network. They wanted to go actually the other direction. And that's because it's really important to the health of the blockchain. If one person surpasses that 51% of hashing power, well, the whole system kind of goes away. It's a lot easier uh, just to go and have a lot of hashing power, collect block rewards. Um, it's just more monetarily sound than possibly spending a bunch of money on hashing power that may or may not yield results. So it's just, simply put, it's easier to play by the rules gain that way than to try to overthrow the system. Another thing about decentralized networks that keeps them secure, kind of hit on this earlier, is these central servers have a, are a single point of attack. So if I'm a hacker, I want to get as much information as possible I'm going to a central server. Let's illustrate this using an example. You have neighborhood A, neighborhood B. Let's talk about neighborhood B first. We are trying, we have to decide, we were gonna rob one of these neighborhoods. We have to decide which one. And we need to make it worth our while. We need to gather at least a majority of the wealth in one of these neighborhoods. Neighborhood B, five houses, but they have this one house that has a majority of the wealth or value in the neighborhood. Let's compare that with neighborhood A, where every house has an equal amount of wealth, 20%. Now, if I'm a thief, where do I go? I want, to do, I want to get the most amount of money for the least effort. I go for neighborhood B, which is like a centralized server. Right there, this big house, that's my target, just like a server is. Because a server has a bunch of information, house has a bunch of big wealth. Over here, it's distributed. You would have to get three of these houses to reach a majority. So it takes a lot more effort to attack a decentralized network than a server with a target painted on it.